It's another beautiful morning here in St. Kitts and I'm starting off the day at the famous Sir Timothy Hill lookout. From this vantage point, you can see both the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean at the same time. The rough Atlantic is on the left and the much calmer Caribbean Sea on the right. Alas, I can't stay here forever. It's time to get moving because I'm heading over to Romney Manor, home of Caribel Batik. While the art of batik originates from Indonesia, Caribel Batik has taken the art form and added a Caribbean twist, making colorful prints for all sorts of products, including pillows, clothing, even wallets and ties. All done by hand and with no two pieces ever alike, the Ketishan women of Caribel have certainly been busy. After all, Caribel produced its first batik back in 1976, and its pieces can be found all over the world. All of this art has inspired my creativity, and with the rains coming down, it's probably a good time to stay indoors. Downstairs in the workshop, a worker prepares a pot filled with a mixture of paraffin and beeswax. Once she's happy with it, she hands over the rains to me. It's pretty simple from there. Dip the mold in the wax mixture, shake off the excess, and then place on the cotton square. The wax mixture prevents the dye from soaking through, so I'm placing the mold wherever I don't want any color to go. Then repeat the process until I'm happy with my design, and then I put it in the dye and stir it like a pilau, making sure the dye completely soaks through. Now my design is pretty simple, but artisans like Miss Yvette can do much more complicated designs. Granted, she has been working at Carabell since 1978, so she knows quite a thing or two. The designs she produces go through a multi-day process of wax dipping and dyeing to create stunning masterpieces. As for my masterpiece, well, I backed it up, flew it back home, boiled off the wax as instructed, and then hung it out to dry. With luck, the design, like my memories of Romney Manor, will last a lifetime. Brent Panero, CNC3 News.